Hi, greetings, it's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt, and today I want to give you a basic overview of what marketing is. I know that uh, a lot of us, when we think of marketing, we, we generally think of, you know, advertising. And that certainly is a part of marketing, but there really is so much more that goes on in the background. And so the purpose of this video series is to talk about each of the major components that make up marketing as a whole. So I hope that uh, as you watch this video, you understand what the role of marketing is in organizations and that you're able to describe how marketers create value for a product or service. So value is one of those terms that we use throughout uh, uh, in the world of marketing so that people really understand uh, the core essence of it. You know, we purchase products or services based on our perception of value. One of my favorite organizations to do business with, and maybe it's a favorite of yours too, is Starbucks. You know, here they've got delicious coffee and a lot of other wonderful products, and they're based here in Seattle. But what, why do people go to Starbucks, and what makes it one of America's best companies? That's, that really is the question out there, because you have so many choices uh, to choose from. So, uh, Really, it has to do with so many different ways that Starbucks distinguishes itself from other organizations. And I, I know that you can walk into a coffee shop and it kind of you get a feeling of what it feels uh, like to be there. The coffee sometimes smells different, but even everything is set up in a very specific way because it's a part of their marketing plan. Another one of America's uh, most successful companies is the Pepsi Company, and and Coca-Cola too. And they they both are top companies, and they both distinguish themselves uh, in a little different ways. And so, when you think about marketing, ask yourself what makes one similar company different than another. You know, ask yourself today. You know, compare yourself with compare coke with pepsi what makes these two things different how do they each convey value how do they communicate the value let's talk about marketing specifically i'm going to read from my notes marketing is the activity a set of institutions and processes for creating capturing and communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers clients partners and society at large so it really there really is a lot to marketing we're going to break down what marketing is specifically so marketing helps create value Marketing is about satisfying customer needs and wants. Marketing entails some kind of exchange. Marketing requires product, price, placement, and promotion decisions. And we're going to talk about these four P's uh, throughout our, our time together. So product, price, place, and promotion. Those are the famous four P's. Uh, marketing can uh, be performed both by individuals and organizations. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. And marketing occurs in many different types of situations. So we're seeing new products come on the market all the time. And they really are successful when they really understand customers' needs and wants. And so that needs and wants really is kind of the core of, um, of successful marketing. Take Lexus, for instance. You know, Lexus markets uh, their vehicles in a way that appeals to a very specific audience. And it's not just men and it's not just women. Uh, it, it really is about uh, being able to identify a targeted audience. Lexus is not for everybody, like any product. But uh, how they advertise their products, they do it in a way that appeals uh, to a specific audience. And so I like to use Lexus because they're considered a high-end product. So marketing entails any kind of exchange. There's goods and services. 
Uh, there's about com communications and deliveries. It's about exchanging money and information. And it can happen from customer uh, to consumers, so the people who buy it. Uh, marketing requires product, price, place, and promotion. So with the product, it's about creating value. With price, it's about capturing that value in financial terms. With place, it's about delivering value. And with promotion, it's about communicating value. So product is about creating value. Price is about capturing value. Place is about delivering value. And promotion is about communicating value. So let's talk about product or creating value. These are goods and services or ideas. And it really is the fundamental purpose of marketing to create value by developing a variety of offerings including goods and services and ideas that satisfy customer needs. Without satisfied customers there is no return uh, purchases of the products or services. And we all have companies that we like to buy products or services from and when they give us no other reason to look at their competitors because we're completely satisfied we continue to generally buy their products or services and recommend them to others. Price is about capturing value and price is a really interesting thing. I think about a, uh, a baseball game that I attended a few years ago. It was the uh, Tacoma Rainiers here in Washington State and they are a triple uh, A ball game and I think I paid like nine or fourteen dollars for seats that were actually relatively close to the players and then I think about the fifty dollars that I paid to go see a baseball game of the Seattle professional team and the Mariners and uh, I was amazed the seats weren't so good for fifty dollars and the stadium was essentially packed. You know, it, it's how much are customers willing to pay? And of course it needs to be worth it for the, uh, for the organization, you know, as far as profit is concerned. So price really is about capturing perceived value. That's money, time, and energy. You know, if I really love the Mariners, it would be a great value to pay fifty dollars to go and see them. Um, but you know it's a little bit of a drive. If I go and see the Mariners and give up my Saturday, I can't do other things on Saturday. And so all of these things need to be captured in the pricing system. So place. We all have uh, products or services that we we buy on a regular basis. You know, some of my favorite products I get at my favorite grocery stores. And place is about supply chain management essentially. It's all of the activities necessary to get the product when the customer wants it and at, at a particular place that they can get it at. Promotion is about communicating value. Generally speaking, it's advertising and it comes in many different forms. It's about informing, it's about persuading, it's about reminding potential buyers about a product or service to influence their opinions to elicit a response. You know, they all the time during the holidays, for instance, we see lots of toy commercials and then kids start going, ooh, I want that toy, I want that toy. And, and so those promotions help um, people th consider purchasing those products or services. So basic, simple concept, of course. So marketing can be performed by individuals and organizations. A lot of companies uh, directly with the manufacturer. Uh, there's B business to business, so there are organizations who just sell products to other companies. Uh, there are uh, business to consumers and so there are stores of different types or other types of businesses that deal directly with the consumer. And then there's consumer to consumer and essentially consumer to consumer generally are done online. So I'm a big fan of Etsy and eBay for instance. 
Um, marketing impacts various stakeholders, you know, and so we need to take a look at who these stakeholders are. Essentially, there's society as a whole, there's general customers, there's supply chain, and then there are employees. Uh, marketing helps create value um, through um, the marketing chain, there's the production, there's the marketing itself, there's the selling, and then there's value-based marketing. And value-based marketing is really interesting. I, I think about a uh, Pepperidge Farm ad that I've seen in a magazine. And in that ad, there's a picture of a cookie, a white cookie, with delicious melted chocolate flowing over the top. And so uh, people see how luxurious this cookie looks, uh, and delicious it looks, of course. Uh, but then you recognize that the price is not so high. It's of good value. You get such a wonderful homemade taste of elegance at a price that's uh, affordable to the most people. Value-based marketing really depends on what's important to a customer. Um, there are products out there that people are like, oh my gosh, I got these new sunglasses and they were only $350. I love them. They can, they, 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 they fit my face perfectly and they protect me from uh, UV rays. I can't believe it was only $350. Oh, I got these sunglasses for $20. They do the same exact thing. You know, and so your value is relative. Uh, how do firms become value driven? Well, uh, they share information. They, they're always balancing benefits and costs. Uh, they build relationships with customers and then they connect with customers using social media. Um, connecting with customers uh, using social media, you know, 93% of marketers use social media tools for their business. And over 4.2 billion people link to some sort of social media sites through their mobile devices. Let's go through some basic terms and then I'll let you go. So. Exchange, that is a term related to the trading of things of value between buyer and seller so that each is better off as a result. Second term, goods. Goods are items that you can physically touch. Services, services are tangible customer benefits that are produced by people or machines and cannot be separated from the producer. Ideas. Ideas include thoughts, opinions, and philosophies and intellectual concepts which can be marketed. A supply chain is the group of firms that make and deliver a given set of goods and services. And value reflects the relationship of benefits to cost. All right, I've given you a lot in this overview of marketing video. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation and could take something away from it. I appreciate your time and I hope you enjoy this video series. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. I'm Dr. Paul Gerhardt and I hope that you have a great day because only you get to choose.